What are you doing? What are you doing? Did you pull that off a fence? Uh huh. You been guarding everybody? Come here. <laughs> Come here. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Boy, you're ferocious. You're a ferocious guard dog, you know it. Don't be jealous. You're ferocious. Rawr. Listen, you got a lot of work to do today. There's no crying in farming. I gotta pull some T-posts. I gotta stretch some wire. I gotta build a fence. I gotta sell some pigs. So there's no crying today. None of that I'm hungry stuff. You just ate. I told you to go to the bathroom before we left. Okay. Ready? All right, let's roll. Hang on, French fry. <laughs> I'm funny. I came up with that out there. Busy day today. So here's the cool thing about a third generation livestock guardian dog. You guys see? Her? Instinctually, already. And I'm sure there's gonna be some dog spurts. You know who you are, dog experts, dog spurts. Saying, you should have never taken her away from your flock. Now she's gonna lose all ability to be a livestock guardian dog. No, she's not, okay? Smokey, when we go out there, you can tell she, she loves being with her flock, loves it. And I had to really coax her. Like when we open the gate, when we come out, when we come out there, she doesn't run out of the gate. That's her flock. She's guarding them. She knows I don't want to leave this. That's just born into her. Uh, but what we're going to do is move her to farm 1.0. We're going to go ahead and do it. And we're going to move the baby chicks today. So they'll still be around her. Um, that way she still feels like she's guarding something. And what I'm going to do is take horse fence and come off the side of this shelter that's out there already. And cause that'll give me like a hard wall and then I can build off of that wall. That would be like the back wall. I can put their nesting boxes on a roosting bar, whatever for all the chickens. But that way she has animals to guard. But then because the baby chicks are so little, I'm still going to put them inside of like another structure. So Smokey will kind of patrol the area around them, if you will. Mom and dads, as you know, butts up against Farm 1.0 and they have a dog who often stays with my brother at his house uh, just for logistics and things like that. They just they basically share a dog. Uh, but there's a fence at Mom and Dad's that Smokey can stay in right now just for a couple of hours until I get the horse fence up um, at Farm 1.0. We'll go from there. But let's get Smokey over to Mom and Dad's. She's panting and anxious, I can tell. Well, that was an interesting car ride. <laughs> Did not film the rest of that. She's trying to jump out and get away, and I don't think Smokey likes car rides. Okay. You right. have self-control. I have the ability to say no. I don't have to buy something every time I'm at Atwoods. 
but hear me out, okay? Ducks are adorable. That's, that's, I don't know what to tell you. The other thing that we're up against, see, I'm, I got justification here. Hang on, I'll do this safely before we move. I, I don't know, and I dislike that this may happen, but have y'all ever tried to catch a guinea? I, I, don't, I don't think, uh, I'm not that fast. That's the, that's the simple part of it. So, Atwood's had guineas, and because we have two guineas on farm 2.0 that I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch to bring to 1.0. Look how cute, oh my gosh. The box fell over. Lo siento, I'm sorry. I wanna learn Spanish, by the way. It's a very pretty language. So, that was random, you're welcome. The guy that's coming to buy the piglets. Now we have six pigs, okay? American guinea hogs, that's what we raise. We think they're awesome. I started raising them because of my boy Jason down at Cog Hill. They're a good first, they're a good first time farmer pig because they don't get huge, okay? They also take a little bit longer to grow out um, but the bacon is amazing. I hear the meat is amazing. They make a lot of lard. Uh, but we have Haas, Lola, which is mom and dad. And they had five, actually she had six piglets. One was stillborn on the 4th of July. And then the runt, which was adorable. She had white feet, which is very rare. It's kind of like a, it's not really a birthmark. It's kind of a trait. Uh, of the American guinea hog. So it's red, some are blue or silver in color. And the runt passed away, unfortunately. Um, she just didn't make it. She was nursing, we were watching. Lola has been an amazing mom. This little one just didn't make it. So there was probably something keeping her from growing like the rest um, because we watched her eat. So there may have been some some kind of internal issue that we would have never known um, so it is what it is but we have four left and a guy reached out to me on craigslist uh, a couple days ago and said hey how much for all four of them and i gave him a figure and he said sounds good i'll be there saturday i thought yeah right <laughs> so anyway he's on his way uh, which is a huge blessing because if he buys all four of these then we have a place to put more animals because as you saw in the last video, we already built a place for our piglets. So now we can put some other animal in that little uh, confinement area, which I'll probably put the ducks in there. Uh, they can't fly, they can't jump, they're not gonna make it out of there, they'll be safe. And yeah, so I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, guineas, ducks, brooder, food, water. And then we gotta go all the way back. Dad, what'd you do? It's just toothpaste. No, like, what's that oh, for? Oh, it's... Hang on. Listen. I have a reason. And the reason is... Look how cute. I didn't want them to be lonely. So I got two more alarms. Oh my goodness. You ducky. Atwoods. Man, they put this stuff up front, they just get you every time. Anyway, here's the skinny. So good. Sweet kicking meat sticks. Alrighty, so the guy behind me is buying our piglets, and it's so awesome that he showed up, the guy behind me back there, he and his wife, they're going to take all four piglets, and then they're also going to take chicken, Beef's girlfriend, who he can't court, because he's a broad breast, but he tries. And I'm pretty sure it's not comfortable, something the chicken wants him to do. We've actually been kind of keeping them separate with the Premier One bet. Because uh, 
Beef's not the brightest crown in the box, and it's real easy to kind of make him get confused about which side of the net or the fence she's on. But Chicken actually greets me when we lived at 2.0. She would greet me at the morning, in the morning at the steps, which I've posted a video about a couple times. And she would meet me out there. And I noticed that she was eating the bugs off the front of my truck. So, Chicken, I think this is awesome. Uh, they already have a male turkey, and so they're going to take chicken, and he'll be able to breed with her, um, so she'll finally have a boyfriend who can hang out, date. So, that's good. I'm happy. Uh, four pigs and a turkey going to better places. I don't know what they're doing with the pigs. I don't know if they're going to raise them, harvest them, whatever. But, like you guys know, two of the piglets were at 2.0. The other two are at 1.0. So we're heading to 1.0 right now to pick up the other two piglets. So you guys will see. I'll see if he wants to be on camera. They're, they're good people, but we'll see. I said chicken, but I said she's going to a good home. He said, sounds good to me. So, all right. What's up? Long time no talk. Oh, hey. Code Brown. Farm 1.0. So I don't remember where I left you guys, but the piglets are gone. All four of them. To a good home. He didn't want to be on YouTube. I don't blame him. But she's literally going to lay down and take a nap. It's true. Livestock guardian dogs nap during the day. And she's a professional. Which I guess makes her a professional livestock guardian dog if she's napping during the day like livestock guardian dogs. I'm going to unload the horse fence and start setting up on the back of this structure here. Then see if we can get some baby chicks out here so that Smokey's not alone. Because I do believe in she's never been alone. I don't want to leave her out here tonight by herself. So we're definitely going to set her up with something. Right, so here's our options. We got a tin roof with a bunch of limbs on it. But I do think that would be a good spot. I know I know this is a mess, but think about where I'm coming from. This is not a mess. This is just a little bit of trash. Easily, easily dealt with. So I, I just, this has a roof over it already, which would keep me from having to put a roof on this side. But this is a tarp right here. That's not super secure, obviously. This right here, the tarp, not super secure. I do have this thing too, though. And I think the baby chicks might be good in there. What do you think? Because I could also come off this side. I could come off that front side. Right down there is where the piglets were. But there's this back side over here. There's just, there's so much. It's really thick. So I think for the time being... Got my mountain dog with me. But I think for the time being, I might utilize, I think this structure is gonna be the way to go. Yeah, I think without too much trouble. You guys are gonna see a time lapse here in a second where I literally just throw up this fence in a matter of a couple of minutes because I'm gonna get pressed for time here. Yep, it's about to happen. And I don't have my tripod which really stinks. So I don't know where you guys are gonna sit. Hang on, Let's see what I can find. Oh, tripods, where's the sun?
We're moving chickens, in case you couldn't tell. My dad's learning too. <laughs> and we've got all the chickens except for Magneto. Huh? He's got all the chickens. Oh. I just chase them to the corner. But how do you feel about chasing chickens? You think you, I mean, is it fun? This is like this is like a rite of passage. It's a skill, and I haven't caught one yet. I, touch, I touched one. My grandson Case can do it. I am a complete failure at chicken chasing. So he shoes them with a trash can lid, and That's then and then I play tackle football. Yeah, he's very good. Now we got to get Magneto. Magneto's right there. All his girlfriends at the back of the truck. All of them. They're all they're all ready to go to the new farm. Well, let's just show him, and he'll just jump right in. That's that's what. Hey, five. Your harem's over there, if Sheep. 20 of my girlfriends were in one room. I'm going. <laughs> so. We'll see what happens. Yeah. So he, could you, could you, please, please, what, what are we doing? Look at Smokey. See how good Smokey's being done? <laughs> All right. So here's the deal. Magneto told us he wants to stay at Farm 2.0 one more night. And we're going to come get him off the roost later tonight. Maybe tomorrow night. But Lo Lola, Loss and Hola. <laughs> Lola and Haas are still here. The ducks are still here. We're going to take Smokey with us so that she can guard the baby chicks. We've still got beef and the red bourbons and the guineas and the rabbits. They're all still here and they're safe. They're okay. They're all in either hard pens and nobody's gonna mess with anybody if they have to go through beef to be flat honest so yeah hang on look finally caught something she put a, hard she put up quite a fight huh yes quite a fight quite a fight got her good <laughs> job hey dude all you gotta do is jump in that truck and you can come you can come to farm 1.0 that's all you yeah. gotta do All right, guess who decided to tag along once he saw all his girlfriends. So we heard him, we were standing at the truck and we heard him crowing and he had gotten kind of pinned between a fence and the well house. So we went on either side of him and Dr. Doolittle said Ninja, Ninja dropped right on top of him. Just barely open it. There we go. All right. Now when we get to the new farm, we can actually tell you guys how many chickens we have. Because I, I don't honestly know. But it's way less than Jason. I can tell you that much. Stand uh, right there to this tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna do deuces. There, there. All right, so we got all the chickens at the farm 1.0. We got this huge area 
that we put together today. This is the old turkey coop. And the reason I'm leaving it is because they can go under there and it's got a roof on it. It's covered with welded wire so they can hide if they need to, but the back's all open. And then we're gonna, there's a lean-to back there and the hardware horse cloth, whatever that stuff's called. I just made that up. It's a, uh, somebody trying to lay an egg. It, uh, Is it you? It's secure, yeah. Not me. But anyway, whew, we're calling it a day. We might go get more birds, we might not. But this should have been an interesting video. Grandma and Grandpa Deuces, you ready? Ready. All right, y'all be good. God bless. Deuces. Deuces. <laughs> How was it? Do we need a retake? Guys, no, we're leaving it. We're Thank leaving you. it. See y'all later. Got you. Norman, I got Norman. <laughs> I got Norman. Well done. Okay. I did it. Got me a bird. It's a famous Norman. Captured by Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> hey Norman, thanks for slowing down for Ralph. <laughs> He just rolled over. <laughs> he laid down. <laughs>